Okay, here's my Honda Accord 2015. And it started making a noise. Uh, and the noise seems to be coming from the driver's side, left driver's side vents, from like here and on there, or in this area. All I know is the noise is coming. The noise started like a buzzing noise intermittently and eventually got worse to the point where anytime you go over 35 miles an hour, the, the noise would come and it'll, it'll start chattering. You'll hear it chatter. I try to feel for the noise everywhere in the dash. I stick my hand under the dash, whatever, and felt the door. Sometimes I think the door is, it's coming from the doors, but we don't know. So I even stuck a wire while driving. I would stick it into the vents Hoping there's a flap in there that might be loose and nothing. But I stuck it in there and while I was driving and nothing. So let me show you uh, what the noise sounds like. And before I move on, I want to tell you stay tuned to the end because uh, this noise you can test for immediately by. Uh, I'm going to show you at the end of the video. So I do have a fix for it. And so let's hear the noise. Okay, here I'm driving less than 35 miles an hour. And you can hear there's no noise, no rattling noise. And it generally happens when we're going 35 miles an hour. I'm in the work zone right now. So we're just going, what, uh, barely... 10 miles an hour uh, as soon as it speeds up uh, you can start hearing the rattle uh, I'm gonna exit soon and we're gonna probably go over 35 miles an hour you're gonna start hearing the clicking rattling noise sounds like something's fluttering and it's driving me nuts it's coming from my Seems like from my left side vent, driver's side vent, or the dash, or even my door, I just can't figure it out. But uh, as soon as I get moving, I'm going to start recording again. You're going to start hearing the noise. So hang in there. Okay, I'm going to start exiting soon. And we're going to get this thing up to over 35 miles an hour. You're going to start hearing the noise that... That's driving me nuts. Here we go. I'm gonna exit. And the noise should be coming up soon. There it is. You hear the click? You hear it? It's a crazy noise. It sounds like it's coming from a vent or something, but I really don't know. Get under the dash. But here's the noise. I want to get to a smoother road and you can hear the noise a little better. Alright. Wow. You should be able to hear that. But no, that noise is driving me crazy. It only happens when you're going over 35, 40 miles an hour. Hear that? When I figure this thing out, I'm gonna post the fix. So this is what the noise sounds like. And hopefully I'll get back to you with a fix. Alright, you can hear that noise. Okay. And I'm going what? 70? 60 miles an hour. All right, let me get back to you. Hopefully, with a fix. Okay, you saw that video clip uh, with all the noise on there, and you heard the rattling noise above 35 miles an hour, and that noise will just drive you nuts. So, now I want to talk about how I accidentally. Uh, learn what the problem is But uh, before that I would just want to tell you 
give you a little overview of everything I tried to look at on the interior to figure out what was wrong. I tried stuffing uh, wire in here, see if there's anything loose inside and in there. And the noise was still there. I tried to feel the <clears throat> door panel. Sometimes I think it's there, sometimes it's not. I put my hand everywhere on the dash to feel that vibration underneath. And I also put my head underneath the dash to see what was loose, if anything. Uh, the last thing I did was also was the climate control. I tried different modes to direct the air to different vents. And the worst case, uh, I even shut off the uh, climate control completely with no fan blowing and the noise was still there. So, okay, there was one symptom that I didn't talk about earlier was that when the noise was, when you hear the noise and the rain came in while I was driving, I noticed that the noise disappeared. So I tried it another day when it rained and it was the same thing, the noise disappeared. So I didn't think much of it. In hindsight, that if you think about that, that tells us that the noise is coming from outside. So I'm gonna, let's step outside. I'm gonna show you what I've learned. Okay, as I said before, the noise was is coming from the outside of the car. And if you look closely at this by my driver's side, and I would say the noise was coming from inside the air valve, just about. And outside, you can see there's nothing really out of place in this car. But what's happening is, you see this, uh, there's a molding strip here by the window column. This, this molding strip goes all the way around to the back of the car. And to the, to, to the right side of this molding strip, there is a little piece of rubber. And you're not gonna see it now, but I'm gonna pull it out in a second to show you. That little piece of rubber is actually separated from this black molding. And it comes out and it f hangs around this window column and it starts fluttering in the wind. So let me reposition my camera and I'm gonna take that little molding out to show you, that rubber piece of molding to show you what it looks like. Hang on. Okay, I'm gonna show you what's actually making a noise on this uh, car now. You see the two blue tapes from the window column, from the bottom and on top of the door there. There is a little rubber molding that is actually uh, can come out of this channel here. I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to move this camera closer. And the reason I have this tape is here is because I know, I know it's broken from here all the way up to there. And when I pull this out, I don't want it to make to you know rip this part out. So it's the rip starts from here. Here's my tape. I'm saying that the little rubber piece is in here and I'm gonna start pulling it out with my fingernail and there it is. You see, this is what's actually making a noise but you won't believe it. I wanna pull it all the way out and that's what it is like. This little rubber was originally attached part of this molding here and it's separated and you can see that it goes all the way around the car up to the top of my car window and you will never find this out the only way i know about this is because i got out for gas one day during the rain and when i got back into the door i saw this and said oh there goes the trim that I had to I have to repair so but when I then I slept on it I says oh my god this is what's fluttering making my making a noise in my car what's happening is on a windy day this will come out of the channel and will start fluttering like this 
it will just flutter like this and then you can actually make the noise right into my car can you believe that oh my god so the next day what I did was I taped this whole channel up and I drove it and the noise completely went away so this is the problem let me uh, put this back and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sil silicone this I could easily cut this out but this is a little tiny gap and if I cut it out it's just gonna fill up with dirt so I'm just gonna glue I'm just gonna silicone this back into place just so it stays in there so that's what I'm gonna do next before I uh, silicone that rubber piece in I wanted to prove that that was the problem so I taped up the uh, channel with a blue painters tape as you see and I drove the car the next morning and there was absolutely no noise so that fixed the problem so now I'm going to proceed and uh, glue that rubber piece in so here we go okay here I just prepped the uh, car so I can put the silicone in there and I don't want a mess on my window column or anywhere else so what I did was I used painters tape by the way this is the same tape I used to tape up the for the test but this is painters tape and I taped it very close to the little channel that I'm gonna put silicone in and it's gonna make it very easy for me just just to dab the silicone in there and I won't have a mess uh, you should be prepared if you do have a mess just get some rubbing alcohol this will if, it, if it's on your car you all you do is just dab it with a uh, paper towel and you can wipe off the silicone very easily with rubbing alcohol so uh, I'm gonna put the uh, silicone in and then I'm just gonna pull the tape out so as you can see it's a tiny gap when I left the rubber in there and I just gonna glue it on keep the silicone to keep it in place that's all I'm doing so let me put the silicone in and what we're gonna use is uh, genuine GE clear sil silicone. And you wanna cut it out to the smallest speed head you could. I think I made it a little too big, but that's okay. Uh, because I got this all taped up and it should be fine. Here we go. And I see the bead coming out. Here we go. I'm going to do this all the way up to the top. You're going to, you don't see it, but I can see that the <coughs> silicone is going into the channel. That's the way I'm gonna do it. So let me finish this off. And that should be good if you look at it. It looks pretty good to me. So I'm gonna take off the tape now. And there it goes. That looks good to me, but I'm just gonna clean it a little bit with rubbing alcohol, just in case. So what I do is, I got my rubbing alcohol, dab some alcohol on a paper towel, like that. And I'm just gonna wipe it just a little bit. All right, that looks perfect to me. So I'm gonna let this drive, and of course I'm gonna do a test, final test drive. Okay, this is the final road test uh, after I silicone that rubber piece in. As you can see, I'm not getting a clicking noise. There's some road noise here, but I'm gonna speed it up to 60 miles an hour. We'll see from there. 
to 40, no clicking noise. I want to get up to 50 probably soon. Here's 50 miles, no noise. And going up to 60, there's no clicking noise. Going up to 70 and there is no noise so the issue is fixed uh, when I pull over I'm just gonna summarize everything and if you have the same problem I have I'm gonna show you how you're gonna know immediately so uh, stay tuned for that I'm just gonna summarize everything okay that last uh, test run that I just did with the silicone rubber in place, it was successful. There was no noise and that is resolved. So uh, I'm gonna just summarize what the symptoms were and how you can detect if you had the same problem that I did. Basically, there was one symptom with the rain. If the rain comes in, you're not gonna get the noise. So while the car, car is driving in the rain, the noise would not come on. And that tells you a lot. That tells you that the symptom is outside. So if you had the same symptom that I had, uh, what you wanna do is all you have to do to quickly check if that rubber piece is fluttering out there while driving, all you do is uh, bring down the window and while you're driving, stick your hand and feel that molding column all the way up to the door on top. And if it was out of place, you would hear it. Hear it or see it or feel it, I meant. So if it was out of place, you would have felt it and you'll know immediately if that uh, molding was your problem. So that's basically it. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like it, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time.